Razor Rob's rant number eight. I got a lot of slack for that video. People don't get it. They don't get it. I kind of had a feeling no one was going to understand anything. Because people react. They hear something and they don't even think. It just turns and switch on and they just react. You know, I read Dianetics, man. I am not a Scientologist. That was a good book. But L. Ron Hubbard is just fictional, you know. But he was right. The reactionary mind is exactly like he says it is. People do not think anymore. They react. I don't know why. I'm not trying to estimate or come to a theory why. Who cares why? I really don't care why. But it does happen. I am just telling what happened. That's it. That's all. I'm not making a, a statement. I'm not doing a, I don't know, protest <laughs> or anything like that. I'm just telling everybody like me that are, you know, like-minded people that I'm trying to target my audience, you know, people like me, guys and women and girls like me, the MPC, IFBB, hopefully, man, whatever, you know, all the people that, I'm, that are into my shit. This is what I'm into. When you meet somebody, you ask them, hey, what's your deal? Because if they'll understand you, what you mean by saying what's your deal, your deal may be their deal. And then you can go and hang the deal together, hang out, you know? So, I don't know, man. Like-minded people, um, that's who I'm targeting. I mean, not everybody. And I don't want to be famous. I say I don't want to be famous. I'm not fucking a liar. So I don't. I want to share something that maybe other people may know how I how I felt. The whole thing about Amber and the whole thing about me being in the media spotlight, how it makes other people react is my whole theme. It's like, I waited so long to say anything about it because it's like, I did, I knew it felt like shit. I, and she's probably not, I don't want to hear anything about that anymore. People don't want it. There's ways of being famous that nobody wants. Okay. Nobody, unless you're a fucking idiot, where all you care more about is the attention than the actual benefit to your life. But you never wonder. All of these stars or whatever they, you call them, the people that get all this attention, a lot of them off themselves. Remember, they do. They can't handle it. A lot. A ton. A huge percentage. And I kind of get a feeling why. It's Some people just do not like that kind of attention. It's just, it's, it's, it's like... It's like somebody with sensitive ears that you put in your stereo system and you're booming. Boom. And the person's going, can you turn it down? Turn it down. They're like, you know, we're not down with that. There's not, they don't share the same likes as you. It's okay to be different. People, you can be different and still get along. Valentino, thank you, man. I'm so happy I talked to you the other day. We'll text you. It's the same shit. I know, I know. It's mind to mind. It's interface in the internet. It worked. I don't know. It's weird. I felt like I was talking to you, bro. Anyway, that was cool, that podcast thing. I, I don't know if I could do it either because it's like you got to read that shit. You know, I, I can't read that shit. And my uh, <clears throat> um, other half, she said, I am going to be describing her as from now on. Other half, that's it, partner, that's it. She doesn't want to be involved with any of this. So she really, this, the media eye, that media eye. A lot of people don't like that. It scares them. It's like a little kid seeing a monster. They're like, get that away from me. I don't want to see that. You know, they don't, they don't want that. They gravitate away like her. She's like, yes, your shit. Don't involve me. Okay. <laughs> Craig, do you have to go through that shit? Anyway, no, because I saw her hand and she was actually, yeah, just her hand though. She's like, the, you know, what is that, the thing on the Adams Family? <laughs> nah, just kidding. Uh, anyway, so some people are 50-50 on, some people understand my videos and some people don't. So I guess I'm just gonna have to handle that, right, Greg? It's just part of the, the game, like, you know, Doms. Fuck. Uh, you know? <laughs> anyway, so I got some sleep. I recovered. I'm going to go in there and hit fucking chess, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby.
<laughs> Ooh, I never forget doing back one time right next to Ronnie Coleman and Strong and Shapely Gym. I was doing back, getting ready to do back. I was warming up, and here comes Ronnie Coleman walking through the door. Oh, Mr. Coleman, Mr. Olympia. I was like, hey, whatever. You know, I'm giving him props. He sits down next to me, and he goes, what you working today? I'm like, back. He goes, what do you know? Me too. <laughs> I'm like, Work the whole back routine, the whole damn thing, everything. Uh, I don't remember the whole routine. He was kind of a little bit more all over the place than me. He did almost twice as many exercises as I did, but we did the same. I remember doing rows right next to him. And strong shape, he's got them dumbbells that go way, way up, man. He would just rows, you know, strap them up. One arm, dumbbell rows, just like I did. I did my set, boom. And look, I watched him do his set. He did a lot more reps than me, but a lot more reps than me. He has a high reps. People don't realize he does high reps. Anyway, boom. I was like, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. Anyway, Bob, man, I got to work out with Mr. Olympia in your fucking gym. Who can say that shit? And you know it's fucking true. I ain't talking shit. <laughs> oh, that was fucking great, dude. Who in the fuck could say, yeah, man, I worked out in the gym with Mr. Olympia. <laughs> Top that. <laughs> anyway. I'm happy, uh, yeah, that, you know, it's working or whatever, kind of. I got some people watching, but it's like, that's not really my deal. I'm probably going to get to the point where I'm not going to talk to anybody. I hope you don't get offended, you know, offended that I'm not going to be able to talk to you. But it's not about that. It's about just, like I said, information, maybe some text information back. Wait, Rob, this is what you need to do with, you know, whatever. Back and forth kind of correspondence high intellectual interface that's right i'm not an idiot okay college educated don't get no respect at all man but at least this uh, audience of my peers and uh what deal <laughs> um we know the same kind of things going on as far as the bodybuilding and training world and i'm going to talk a lot more about training and a lot more about less about this uh you know stories because the stories get you in trouble i guess uh they're entertaining only because it's fucking crazy to even believe that like the ronnie coleman dude come on come on ronnie who works out with mr olympia that kind of shit you know but you know people don't know here in this little tiny tiny town i can't say shit like that i can't tell nobody that i'll, I'll look like a fucking horse's ass because nobody will fucking believe me. 90% of them won't even know who the fuck Ronnie Coleman is. Even in a gym. That's how the, what kind of gym this is. Okay, so they won't know. And obviously, like, talking to, you know, <laughs> the Chinese. And I don't speak Chinese. I'd be, like, speaking English. And everybody's Chinese. And they're not going to know what the fuck they're looking like. Okay, okay, man, yeah. That sounds interesting, but we don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> That's what I go through. So... I need this. I need this venue. I need the release. I need the, the venting. The ve venting is like a mental and physical and psychological set. <laughs> anyway, it just releases, helps me. You know, I got the sun gaze for the energy ch charge. And I get the venting, I guess, on this blogging for the release. It's, it's supposed to be my workout, whatever, my theory. So, I mean, I've been, really, the sun gazing thing, I wasn't bullshitting. I do do that. See the sun right there? Um, it doesn't fuck up your eyes if you do it right. You got to do it sunset, sunrise, sunrise, sunset, sorry. Sunrise, sunset. You don't have to do it all the time. It's like um, taking your car in for a tune-up. <laughs> it's like taking your brain in for a tune-up. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, sometimes you just, it just don't run right. You just don't think right. Your way of thinking is dysfunctional. It doesn't result in good quality of life and thought and feeling. This connects with this, connects with this, connects with this, and is grounded to that. So you have to do the sun gazing barefoot and you have to connect with the grass or earth or dirt and grass. So I go out in the field. I would love to go out on the beach, but I have to go out in the field and a nice prairie into the looking into the mountains of the sunrise. And pretty much I'm looking at the sunset almost now. So it's, I got to work out and I got, I ain't got no rush, but I do that. I got to work out and go out and sun gaze. Today I'm going to do it 
morning and evening. Tomorrow, just morning. Next day, just evening. I got it kind of like a workout schedule and it's going, you know, it doesn't stay all the same. It's intermittent, you know, it goes different time and I have it scheduled so it goes down and then up and then down. And I'm not shitting you, I'll show you the fucking chart. I'm an intricate motherfucker, but people don't know that and I don't really share that. I'm trying all kinds of shit. I'm a human guinea pig on all these things I do, but I chart it, record it, and share it. If you'd like to know more about this bullshit, it may not be bullshit. Okay? I'm, I'll let you know. The jury's out. Razor Rob signing off. It's a quickie, but I got to work out. Peace, brother.